Upper Michigan today is on the town. We're here in Ironwood. We're showing you what's new, talking about everything that it has to offer, some recreation opportunities, other opportunities to uh, get involved with some businesses, whatnot. So we're just walking and talking here, and you were pointing out a couple of things to us in the commercial break uh, of what's new and what visitors can expect in this downtown square. Yeah, absolutely. One of the big things is every January we have the Sisu Ski Fest mm -hmm. uh, ski marathon race that starts at the ABR Ski Resort that's just outside of town and then finishes right here in the downtown city square. This is their finish line. Um, so in the wintertime, you know, there's a fire over at the fire pit and people all lined up downtown to see the finishers come through. And I can imagine that's a big party to here in the downtown area absolutely. absolutely yeah there's a thousand competitors in terms of this mm -hmm. in, in this race and yeah they're they're just basically it's great it's a lot of support for our small businesses and it brings a lot of people to our community and before we get too far away paul i want you to point out a few of the added pieces that you have here um starting with the electric charging station yeah so over here in this corner right across from our public safety department we've got a, a ev charging station that uh, has been here since the park was built about three four years ago so uh, people can charge up their cars and walk to the downtown businesses while they're waiting for their char car to charge um, over here in this corner we've got a little mountain bike skills area um, kind of fun for for bikers to be able to come through and just kind of play around on some uh, different features in the, in the little park and um, across from it we have the trailhead signs with uh, signage for our new mountain bike trail system in the miners park we have 10 miles of mountain bike trails that are literally just two blocks that way to the southeast here so um, gonna have more information for the for the bikers to be able to uh, to get you know park here and be able to go out for a, a mountain bike ride uh, right from downtown and then, yeah, as we kid over this way, um, we've got the, the fire pit over here in the corner, which um, will get going soon for some of the cold, uh, you know, cooler fall afternoons. Um, be able to enjoy a nice uh, fire while you're in the downtown, maybe having a coffee or whatnot. Is that something that you have going year, like throughout the winter, just even during the week? Yeah, we have it. So it's on basically a push button and um, so people can enjoy it while while it's uh, in the in fall and winter time mainly we keep cool. that on. Yep. That's great. And then yeah, just past the fire pit, you know, lots of picnic tables out here for people to enjoy. Come out here and have lunch, and um, you know, just uh, visit with one another. Also enjoying during the um, during the the music that happens down here. And then uh, the the best thing here that the the kids love is is the, the splash, splash pad. pad. So. Um, super fun to have the uh, splash pad available for the little ones and they're out here frolicking and that and um, I think we can probably even give it a test run here if we oh, is this the, is this the power that's the that's, that's oh the all, all I have to do is push it Go ahead. No. oh there it goes oh <laughs> it works it works <laughs> Okay, we know the splash pad is good. Camera's good. Okay, so, okay. The, so anticipate that if you're coming and just pushing random downtown buttons. Now, is that is that thing on like all the time? Anybody can just come on down in their bathing suit and have some fun with it? Yeah, yeah it's open to the public, you know, for the summertime. And fortunately, this year we've had such nice weather, it stayed open a lot longer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been really fun because the kids just love it. And unfortunately, as you guys figured out really quickly, <laughs> it, it's when you first turn it on, it sprays a little farther than just that general. And it area. is a little windy, so it just <laughs> happened to be blowing the exact right way. Okay, well let's keep our tour going. Well, I've never even I've never seen anything like that before. I think really that's so cool. Where, where do you get that idea from? Well, I mean, there's there's when we were de designing the park, we knew we wanted to do some sort of cool play feature yeah. in the downtown, and there's some communities around that that have them. Um, uh, Wausau in Wisconsin they have a similar s similar downtown square to this and and they they have a cool splash pad there um, and I think over it was, I think it's Berga I think Berga has one as well so yeah I mean it it seems like we'd heard about it and mm -hmm. at first you know we were maybe a little skeptical about the use that it would get but it I mean the kids just love it like the daycares and stuff mm -hmm. in the area will bring kids down to utilize it and, in the summertime. And it's, yeah, it's just been a real hit for us. My kids have had many a fun teacher. times at Splash Pad. I, I think they're a great, it's a great addition. Sure. Okay, so take us through. What are we uh, coming upon as we begin our, our trek down downtown? Sure. 
Um, <clears throat> so um, down here we have the Cold Iron Brewery, um, which has been around what seven years, eight years? 2017, yeah. 2017. Yeah. Yep, so seven years. Um, so also, um, yeah, you know, just just past that we have the Depot Park uh, Historic Pavilion. So there's um, volleyball courts there and we have a um, nice pavilion with bathrooms. It's on the Iron Bell Trail, so just a half mile. Um, one direction, you got Hurley, Wisconsin, and the Border Bridge, and then we have about 10 and a half miles of trails that go and connect Bessemer and uh, Ramsey uh, to, to Ironwood and, and connect it to Hurley as well. So the Hurley people are working on their trail efforts. You know, the success of our Iron Bell Trail has really helped spur their desire to expand their trail into Wisconsin. And so what's, what's good for them is good for us. And, um, you know, providing these, these linkages between our communities is giving people a place to, to exercise and get their kids off, you know, on a bike, but off of the streets, away from the cars, in a safe place to, to learn how to ride bikes and stuff. It's been a really great asset. And people, you know, people want these types of assets when they move to a community. So when we're trying to attract doctors to the local hospital and, you know, working professionals, having these assets for, for these people to enjoy is, is, is important. And yeah. it's been really good for the area. Yeah. All right, well, I think we need to take another break and then let's go across the street, shall we? and get into it. Okay, we will be right back, you guys.